Okay, so since I've been buying um, gold or stuff I think is gold, I decided to get myself a tester. Um, they're kind of expensive, but if you're going to have stuff tested all the time, it's certainly going to save you money. So I purchased the TRI Electronics GT Express Gold Tester. It wasn't particularly cheap, um, but I wanted to make sure I had something that was easy um, you can also get test kits <clears throat> where you just kind of file some of the stuff off and then you test like an acid test with the, the filings that you have left over. But um, again, since I'm doing this for a living, I just decided to go ahead and, and make the step and get the purchaser. So it came with all this stuff. It comes with this little um, guy here with an alligator clip on the end. <clears throat> It comes with these red wires that you have to attach, the tester itself, a, a eraser, and a file just in case you need to file stuff, which I haven't had to do yet, so I'm gonna just ignore the file for now. I'm gonna move the camera so hopefully you can see this a little better. Okay, so um, you take the item that you wanna test, and you can see I purchased this item uh, for $3. I was hoping that it was gonna be gold, but I wasn't sure. But it was Nice and thin. The clasp looks like it might have been replaced. The clasp didn't look as nice as the rest of it, so I wanted to, to test it. So you put your item on the clipboard here. I kind of did it in the corner because I don't want it to squish anything. As you can see, it's kind of thin. Um, again, I'm going to move it back. So I've got my item on the tester. I hook this guy into here. Um, where am I at here? Nope. This end goes into this. Put this end on the end of the clip. Now, the biggest mistake I made when I first used it, and of course they don't tell you, is that this, um, they say to put water in the reservoir twi tip, and as you can see, there's like indentations there that look like you could put water into them, and I was trying to test uh, with this guy on but this is a cover so you actually have to take the cover off which is kind of tough so I was like trying to take it off and I wasn't sure if it was a cover um, my cat is trying to participate here today I have lots of animals so they all like to make um, so you, you can get that off once you get it off you can see that there's another reservoir tip in there and that's actually the thing that you're supposed to be putting the liquid in and testing with but everything was testing um, not gold and I knew some stuff was gold so I was really like confused so I figured out that it didn't happen and again here are the directions nowhere on the directions does it say to make sure that you take the cap off um, but you're not going to get any good valuable data if you leave the cap on so you the reservoir tip here they give you this liquid um, the liquid came with it also so you stick the liquid into this guy I need to turn it on. You should probably turn it on in advance. But so you turn it on, it gives you a power button. Uh, this one takes a nine volt battery and I don't believe it came with it. So make sure that you also purchase a nine volt battery so you don't get it home. And then you're like, oh no, I don't have the battery to make this thing work. So there's a little button on the top here. I'm gonna push that button. When I get close to my item, you wanna be close to that alligator clip but not on top of it. So I push my button. I get this guy on there and it says 10k or more right woohoo very exciting I was super excited to figure out this was gold I really took a chance and I didn't think it was gonna be I'm gonna test one more spot just to make sure yep 10 carat or more so it's pretty simple really um, they give you a q-tip that you should have some just in case to clean that little stuff out of the reservoir and I'll show you what happens um, when you hook it up to something that's not right. Ooh, that got a little wrinkly, but it doesn't matter because it's not real. So you hook it on there. Oh, you um, make sure you use the eraser. They provide an eraser. You use the eraser to give the little spot an erase to get any dirt or nonsense off there to make sure you have a good testing spot. So I'm doing that now. <clears throat> Put my liquid in my tip. I push my button, I get this little guy close to the clip but not on it, and not gold. So it really clearly tells you, not gold. 
This thing's pretty awesome. Like I said, I think it was, I bundled it with a, um, with a, a diamond tester because I bought a diamond tester also because I get all the stuff and I'm not sure what's what. So it's the GT Express Tri Mini Gold Tester. I'll show you the box again. And again, I'm gonna put an affiliate link in there. So if you think you wanna buy one, please use that affiliate link. It really helps me to be able to do this stuff for you. Um, GT Express Gold Tester Tri Electronics. I got it on Amazon and I bundled it. Um, with the diamond tester and I want to say it was between a hundred and fifty and two dollar two hundred dollars So it wasn't super cheap um, But it has been well worth it because it saves me the trip To the jewelry store and I don't have to pay for somebody else to test my stuff I can just bring it home and test it as soon as soon as I get there um, If you have any questions if you have one and you can't figure yours out either Like I had a hard time figuring out mine and you have some questions, please let me know Thanks for checking me out. As always, I'm going to have a subscribe button up there. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And um, I'm going to have a link for some other videos. So check me out. I'm also at Craigo and Alice and The Modern Den on Etsy and Instagram. So make sure uh, you check me out there also if you want to buy some things. Thank you.